Hello again, everybody. Today we will continue our skin condition series with an expert in dermatology, Dr. Akriti. Welcome on board, Dr. Akriti. Thank you so much for inviting me for this. Yes, yeah, the pleasure is, my, is ours, Dr. Akriti, to be on, on our side uh, of medicine apps. So uh, today you will uh, discuss a common um, skin condition related to acne. So firstly, I need to ask uh, about what's the main causes of acne. Acne has uh, many causes, but the main cause is obviously oil production. This happens in adulthood or puberty. Then there is um, hormonal, which is again a pubertal growth spurt. Third is stress. Um, all of us suffer from it nowadays and sometimes genetically linked as well. So these are the four main causes that someone can get acne. Great. Uh, so, Dr. Akriti, what are some other factors that can contribute to acne breakouts? Um, acne breakouts or exacerbation can be because of diet and a very strong correlation to sugar, very strong correlation to milk or dairy products, so like cheese, uh, chocolates, colas, fizzy drinks, anything with excessive sugar can cause acne. Also pollution, if, if the face is not cleaned properly, if uh, the makeup is not removed in case of females, the pores get clogged and acne becomes even much worse. Great. So, Dr. Akriti, there are a lot of types of acne. So, can you describe the common types and their characteristic? Sure. So, uh, type 1 acne is either blackhead or whitehead, uh, which most of us uh, suffer from. Then there is type 2 in which we have small red colored uh, boils. In type 3, we have larger red colored or pus filled boils. And type 4 is nodular cystic or the most severe form of acne that we can have. Now these are the types, but sometimes if it is hormonal linked, if it's hormonal acne, then it can come on the jawline. Uh, we also get acne on the back, on the chest, on the shoulders. So we do get body acne as well, sometimes on the buttocks as well. So it is not only restricted to face, but other body parts also can be involved. Yes, of course. So Dr. Akriti, can you walk us through uh, the different approaches for various types of acne? Sure. So uh, type 1, type 2 is very mild type of acne. So mostly we give creams in such cases, uh, usually a, a good foaming face wash which can remove the excess oil and uh, we give a, a retinol or an adapalene gel which is again um, like a, uh, I would say it, it reduces oil production, helps in declogging the pores and getting the acne out faster. Type 3 is when we need to give some antibiotics because there is pus involved in it so if there is any infection underneath we need to kill the bacteria on the face so we give uh, antibiotics orally we give antibiotic cream antibiotic gels and type 4 or the most severe form of acne we have to give uh, oral isotretinoin which is the the main uh, main treatment that we can give in the most severe form Great. So, Dr. Akriti, uh, while acne is commonly associated with adolescence, uh, adolescence sorry, uh, what are con the contributing factors that can lead to its onset and uh, adulthood? Um, so, you, some somebody who is prone to acne, uh, their acne starts very early, like 14, 15 years of age, and that is adolescent acne. Such people, as they grow older, the acne does not stop because the, the quality of the skin is such that it produces that much oil. So even when they go into adulthood and they are in their 20s, they still continue to have because of the type of skin. And on that, pollution, dust, food, uh, lifestyle habits, hormonal changes, all of these cases exacerbate the underlying acne and sugar, very, very big trigger is sugar. Yes, exactly. Uh, so, Dr. Akriti, you mentioned uh, a lot of uh, different stages related to acne, like uh, mild and moderate and severe. So, how do treatment approaches vary from uh, vary for different types of acne, such as mild and moderate and severe? See, in, in mild, moderate cases, we usually, like I said, give creams only. 
and these creams are mostly retinoid based or retinol based which help in reducing the excess oil sometimes we also give glycolic acid salicylic acid mandelic acid aha bha combination that we call but the main treatment is towards the fact that we reduce the excess oil on the face great uh, so dr akriti as you mentioned uh, uh, previously about uh, maybe some of sugars may affect and increase uh, the opportunity for uh, happening acne so dr akriti uh, what advice can you offer for those seeking successful acne management um so main main treatment first is to identify the cause and identify the stage if we know that diet is is the cause that is doing a lot of acne on the face then we have to have dietary changes increase fruit intake reduce sugar intake along with the creams that we are giving the creams are only to treat superficially the skin on top but inside the body the inflammation that is causing acne is coming via the diet or the trigger that it is second problem mostly faced by females is hormonal issue periods not coming on time cycle being irregular too much bleeding too less bleeding too much of hair on the face so all this indicates that testosterone is high female hormones are not in sync so we have to make sure that the female hormonal cycle comes back to normal and lastly if it is purely just oily deep oily skin then we have to use strong retinoids or oral isotretinoin great and ensuring on uh, preventive care uh, and preventive tips for a lot of uh, skin conditions so dr akriti can you share some preventive tips for uh, acne yes uh, washing our face twice a day that is morning and night morning it removes all the oiliness of night and evening when we wash our face obviously removes all the dirt dust and oil we should always have um, at least twice a week a retinol application so that the skin does not get overclogged of uh, in cases of females removal of makeup proper removal of makeup cleaning our makeup brushes properly uh dietary changes we all have to be mindful of what we are eating and have a clean diet great so because uh, maybe uh, acne don't uh, uh, only uh, expected on external factor or depending on external factor but also internal ones so how can individual cope with the emotional impact of acne this is very important and most of us don't pay attention to this but as a teenager when you get acne and your face is not looking good the child gets really disheartened and depressed and we should make sure that as soon as the acne start we start treating them because the the main idea here is to reduce scarring reduce acne and reduce the side effects that it has on a person's mental state so um my suggestion is that as soon as acne pop up we should come and get it treated great and finally dr akriti as you know uh, there is a lot of messes around any skin condition especially especially acne so can you debunk uh, some common messes about acne yes um, a lot of my patients say that they apply toothpaste on acne uh, thinking that it will go away faster no that does not help uh some say they apply lemon or lemon juice that also does not help uh drinking of a lot of water can uh, can help you reduce acne uh it helps in the body overall but has no correlation to acne um using aha bha plus retinol everything together will reduce acne no it it doesn't work that way you should know how to layer your skin and only a doctor can explain you how to do that uh because my skin is oily i should not use a moisturizer which is also wrong because every skin needs moisture every skin needs hydration and uh, i if i clean my face only once it's all right i don't need to clean it twice that's also incorrect we need to remove the dirt dust and oil morning and evening great It's very interesting in our episode, so uh, I will be waiting on fire to uh, continue our series. Dr. Akriti, I'm really th- thank you so much for you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. It was a lovely time as expected. Thank you so much.